Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this nice looking HDMI KVM switch. This is done by a company called T Smart, and this is going to connect two computers into just one monitor, one keyboard, and one mouse. You can also connect your headphones to this, plus you can also hook up a external hard drive to this switch. I do not want to forget, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click to click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification icon, select all in order to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. And don't forget to click to click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly with a little more detail every time. So here you go. This is how the box looks. Doesn't have much markings around. And once we slowly open it, and take everything out of it one by one. Here are all the components that are part of the box. It comes with this user manual and it does say HDMI KVM switch right on top of it and in the bottom it says 4K and 60 Hertz. Now when we open it, you can see it says table of content at the bottom it says and the package listing which we are covering in this video. Go on next is two in one panel. That's the one that we received. And also how you're going to be able to hook it up, the description information, the connection diagram and more. The next thing that we have received is this power connector. Now this part is the one that we're going to connect to the KVM, but this is created for Canada, United States. It is five volt, two amp, and it is about a meter long. It comes with this little remote. It is IR, you can see it. And there is a little spot that you can put a battery in it which is CR2025 it does not come with a battery now it also comes with two packages of HDMI and USB cable and it is very easy to open you can see that it is nicely packaged now once you open it this is how it really looks so there is a HDMI which has a little connector on the top and then the USB cable now this is USB 2.0 and then on the other side it looks exactly like the cable that you're going to connect to your printer. And the other side is the HDMI cable. Now this is really cool. It is not that long, but you will be able to connect your computer to this easily. And the big moment, the actual KVM switch itself. Let's open it up. And this is how it really looks. I really like it, the way that they have designed everything on the top. You will see that it says 4K 4x4x4. And it does indicate on the top that this is HDMI connection. And going in the top part, it has the name of the company and also the two switches. You can see that it says two and one, and it is KVM switch. Going in front part of it, it has the on and off switch, which we will cover, and then the left and right out for the sound. And then you do have the little LED indicators for your computers to be online and the ones that you're going to select. So that way you know exactly if one of them is off, the light will show. We will capture it in a few seconds. And then when you're trying to select from one computer to the second, it will show up here. And then once you use your remote, this is the IR sensor that it will detect it. And the mode itself is going to be on. So once the power is on, that's the LED that will tell you if the unit is on or off. But when you go on the side of it, you have some holes for ventilation. And by the way, it is made out of the metal and it is not plastic. Same with the bottom part. Now going to the back part of it has a lot of things that we have to capture is, first thing is the DC connection, which is five volt, two amps. HDMI out is maximum 4K, and then you have one USB 2.0, and that is going to be an extra one. Then you have one for keyboard, one for mouse, but it really doesn't matter which one you're going to be connecting to this. And then you have the HDMI input that's from one computer and then the USB connection. So that way you're going to gain access to the keyboard and mouse or anything else that you want to connect, such a external hard drive. And then also have the second computer. So that's the first one with the USB and that's the second one with the USB. So that we have two computers and the keyboard and mouse connected to this. Going on the other side of it, you have holes for ventilation. Now, when you flip it upside down, is where you're going to be able to see the four little legs. And once you put that on your table, it is not really moving. You can see that it sits very, very still. Now, going back to the bottom, you have some little cuts for ventilation. And then you have your sticker that will give you your model number. Also, what website you need to go. If you need support, there's an email address and also has a little barcode. 
it looks pretty nice. Let's go next and connect it and test it out. So now we brought our keyboard and then the mouse and then we brought our also a monitor and the KVM switch. So now let's go through and hook it up. While I hook it up, I noticed that the wire that they sent us with the HDMI and also the USB, it is hooked up together. That's a really cool thing. Only thing is that it's only about a meter long. So it's not very, very long. And when you are going to connect this, make sure that the power's off and then go ahead and connect it to your first computer. And then the USB goes connect to. So there's a little protective thing we got to take out. And then let's make it very simple and connect the USB first. And then the HDMI. And there you go. And now we're going to be able to connect our mouse. Now they made it very, very simple for you to know exactly that's for mouse. And this is for keyboard. You can mismatch it too. But just to make it very simple, just make sure that it is connected correctly. So this is my mouse. And this is my keyboard. There you go. Now I know that it's a little bit messy. Once you turn it around, then you can use a little Velcro or a tape to put all of them together so that way it doesn't look that messy. Once it's done too, then we're going to connect the power. Now before we do that, I have to mention that you have to connect your HDMI cable for your TV. Mine is right here. There you go. And then we're going to connect the power. Done. Now let's go through and hook it up to the computer and then we're going to see it on the screen. And we're going to flip this around. Now this is our first computer and this is our second computer that we hooked up. So our switch is just hooked up and now we're going to turn on the monitor and rest. Now both of the computers are turned on. Let's just turn the KVM switch on. And now you can see both of the computers are on and it is already selected or set up on number two. So now we can go through and try to play with it on the computer. You can see the power is on for the KVM switch. And number one and number two are online. That means both computers are online. This is where you will be able to switch between one and second computer. We will show you in a couple of seconds. And there you go now. Our keyboard is turned on. And same with our mouse. The light is on. That means it is working. Now if I have to move the mouse on the computer, you can see that it works. If I have to press the Windows button, you can see the Windows came up. That's how easy it is to basically play with this now. And now if I have to type anything using the actual keyboard, it's very easy. It does work perfectly on the computer itself. Now that's not the only thing. Let's switch this and go to the next computer. And here's my switch. The computer is right there. Let's just click on it. And there you go. That's our second computer that just turned on. And there you go. Now we are on the actual computer. So if I bring up the notepad as you can see it right now and I have to type something like this really works yes it does now you can use your mouse to move around and also do more with this so if I have to move it and I have to bring the mouse over here you can see that the mouse do work and I can move the screen around very easily so yes it works perfectly and yes this will get you up to 4k and very easy steps and also it has a audio out so you can put your headphones into this and whichever computer you're going to use this will get you the proper picture on your monitor only thing is that it's only one monitor so whichever computer you're going to connect doesn't matter pc1 or pc2 in this case i have two laptops that i have connected to this to make this video makes the life a lot easier and you can tell that it works perfectly I do not want to forget and let you guys know that this will bring in the world that you're really looking for. As an example, this will bring you 4K properly. The HDMI on this is set up as 2.2, not 2.0. So it will get you 4K and 60 Hertz very easily. As long as your monitor is capable of producing that type of color and the resolution. It will work for you perfectly. If you have a wider screen, this will also go on to recognize and give you the actual pictures and pixels properly. Except that this is very inexpensive. Links are in the bottom where you can get it from, except that I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the, click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment in the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is exitex.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places, and thank you.